hey my loves welcome back to my channel my name is lydia lydia medicine and if this is your first time here please do well to join our family click the subscribe button like share all that good stuff share this video because it is going to be a very very helpful video and if this is not your first time here welcome back my love i hope all my videos that you've watched has been able to help you and to Today we have another video yes <laughs> so today I'm just going to be speaking about 10 tips that you can put in place or 10 things that you can do to make your business more successful and grow so I'm just going to be diving right into it so before I continue I just want to say that I'm trying to get 10,000 subscribers so if the Lord leads you share my video and so that other people can see it and like make sure you like this video and comment your opinions because it helps the algorithm it helps YouTube know that okay yes this person this video is helping people and to help other people too so please help me help you yeah so let's get right into the video So the first tip I'm going to be speaking about today is prayer. So you have a business, you're a small business owner and you are not praying. I put everything that I do into God's hand, whether it is leaving the house in the morning, whether it is um, speaking to a client that I feel like is going to be difficult. Everything, everything that you are supposed to be doing in your business, you're supposed to put it in prayer. Like no matter how little, no matter how big, you are supposed to put everything in prayer because for me, I know that I'm speaking about prayer and some people here don't maybe they don't believe in um, God or they don't believe in whatever it is that you don't believe in a higher power. But for me, I believe in God. So I pray about everything. And even if you don't believe in God, you believe in whatever it is that you believe in, you should at least just think, um, what's it called? You should meditate on your business from time to time so prayer is a very very strong it's like the first thing for me every time i wake up in the morning i pray about my business during the day i pray about my business before i go to bed i pray about my business so it's like a rotation for me i tell god about what i want for my business i just speak it into existence and it eventually happens so you need to put your business in prayer it will do you a lot of good it will make your business grow so just speak it into existence manifest whatever it is that you want for your business and it will eventually come to pass yeah so the next step i want to speak about is policies yes these tips or these things that you have put in place for your business and by policies i mean that things that um you want to tell your clients you want to tell your customers that okay yes this is how we run our business this is how we are going to run it to help you so this is what your customers are going to know even you the business owner so all these policies are just going to really really help you so you need to put policies in place to make your business very very successful i don't know if i am speaking sense but it has really really helped me around um last year i've had my business for about five years now and around last year or last two years i put um i set some policies and they have really really helped me save you a lot of stress trust me it will save you a whole lot of stress when you have policies in your small business so moving on to the next tip that i like to um say is have systems and by systems you feel like okay yes they are the same thing as policies but they are not the same thing but these systems are for you for you for your employees for just the way you basically run your business like from when a customer places even before a customer places an order where do they place their order how do they place their order like just stuff like that and after they've placed their order even the, during the um, ordering process they are supposed to be systems that help your business run smoothly and after they've even placed their order they are even supposed to be other systems that would carry on till they get their order even after they've gotten their order there are systems that will help them Maybe set up the item or how to use it They're, like systems never stop it just helps you stay organized in your business so you need to have systems in your business so systems are for you and policies are for your clients I don't know if I'm making sense yeah so the next tip I'm going to be speaking about today is having good customer service like this cannot be overemphasized this is also supposed to be the first or maybe the second step because prayer is very important but having good customer service will take your business from like like I don't know I have a video about where I spoke about the mistakes you are making in your business concerning customer service and 
like i said in that video customer service can either make or break your business so you are supposed to have good customer service if you want your business to succeed eventually so you can just go and watch that video so you can see the mistakes trust me so you can see the mistakes that you are making right now and you can adjust them because i also drop solutions in that video so good customer service will help you scale your business so these are the things that you should put in place to make your business become successful so the next tip i want to speak about today is learn to improvise i know that i've spoken about policies systems and all of that stuff like in the first few tips that i've been mentioning but learning to improvise will save you like a lot of stress and this is like thinking on your feet when something happens even after you have policies even after you have systems put in place even though the mistakes will not be much after you have your policies and your systems you are bound to be surprised in business like i always say so you should learn to think on your feet learn to improvise learn to do things like like that so you should learn to improvise and be be open to do it it's not even about learning some people don't want to make changes in their business along the way because they feel like this is the way it has to be no there's no there's no one size fits all in business you, even the way i'm giving you guys videos i'm just basically helping you guys but you have to basically put these things into practice before you can start making um success so learn to improvise and be open to improvisation in your business so i'm going to be going over to the next tip and the next tip is invest in your employees yes 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 this is a very very huge one this is a big one because these employees are also people i said it in my customer service video people that are on the other end of the exchange process i mean we that were there and our employees they are also people so as a business owner you should learn to invest in your employees i remember when i used to do a nine to five i had the best boss ever and i feel like that's where i learned this i had like okay i had like three bosses but like two of them were really 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 invested in us like they would maybe on, on some fridays they would um provide lunch for us maybe birthdays maybe anybody's birthday they'll provide lunch or provide cake like just those little things like can really really switch up i'm talking about small business owners that have employees and even if you have like maybe your delivery guy or your sales representative just maybe just the three of you learn to invest in people it will help build your relationship with and to make them happy to to um to make them happy to communicate with your customer to make them happy to communicate with your clients so please and please and please learn to invest in your employees like i was saying i had three bosses but two of them were really really invested like i was a copper but i got bonuses for just like just because those people were my bosses were invested in me invested in the employees and it made me do a better job made me happy made me happy coming to work it puts always put a smile on my face when i think about it even now thinking about it it just makes me so happy that they went an extra mile not just they weren't unprofessional or anything but they went an extra mile to make me happy working there so learn to invest in your empl employees it to make them happy and to make business run smoothly because when you are not there even when you are there they make things work they make business run so i'm going to moving on to the next step and the next step is learn to delegate i know that you are a small business but you cannot do everything on your own especially when, especially when your business is growing you should learn to leave things for the people that you've put in charge of whatever it is to do their job do not be all over them if not you will get tired and they'll get frustrated i don't know if that makes sense but that's what it basically is you should learn to let them do them actually for business that have like services you can um you can supervise them but you can supervise them but do not like hover too much around them allow them do what they are supposed to do and they will learn you can make corrections like stuff like that but just let them do what they are supposed to do. even if you've hired like a professional or someone that is still learning on the job just allow the person try allow the person do what they are supposed to do it will relieve you of stress to relieve you of stress it will help next step is record keeping so you want your business to grow your business is actually maybe growing maybe or just starting to grow if you don't keep record of everything 
like i said in the video that i did about um starting my business where i wasn't keeping record or anything like that if you don't keep record your business will not go the way it's supposed to go and even if you think that it's going it's going to tumble so learn to keep record it will help your business become very very successful keep record of services keep record of money going in money going out keep more record of investments that your business is making because as a business you make investments keep record of inventory keep record of products of stocks and all of that just keep record basically because it would help you look back when there are mistakes maybe Maybe business um, businesses that offer products when there are mistakes you can go back to where you've kept your record that should make it easy for you i'm going to be moving on to the next tip and the next tip is analyze your competition and people mistake this for um copying whatsoever it is that a um, uh, would i call it rival business is doing but that is that will not help you i said it's in the um, first mistake that i made when i first started my business if you copy your um, competitors or your competition yeah you just end up looking like a fool because what is working for them you don't even really know what their strategies or their whatever it is what their steps their plan is but if you copy them you look like a complete fool because people will be like why are you doing even you too, you look like a fool to yourself because you'll be like why are you doing you don't know where this person's headed you know where this person is coming from so please and please and please do not copy just analyze look at what they are doing look at it look at it look at it think about it jot down key points and look for how you can input it into your business um identity that will make it your own and just refurbish it basically so look at what they are doing do not copy analyze what they are doing do not copy like break down what they are doing but do not copy like a to z what they are doing so please and please and please do not copy just analyze so the next step is the next tip is always make plans and strategies yes 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 so it's beginning of the year like today's um march i'm guessing still beginning of the year so make plans for your business where do you want your business to be in the next three months where do you want your business to be in the next five months how much do you want your business to be bringing in in the next one year and after you've listed all these things out you can now start making plans okay i'm going to do this to get here in one year i'm going to do this to get here in five months i'm going to do this to make this amount like if you don't break those plans down if you don't get like realistic strategies you won't be able to attain the goals that you set for yourself i don't know your for your business i don't know if you understand what i'm saying so strategies and plans would help you reach your goals that you set for your business you watch this part of this video you are an og are ready to run a successful business so thank you guys for watching see you on my next one